Welcome back to another video. Now this one is gonna be controversial, but it is fixing my issue. So, yeah, personal preference, all right? Before we go into this, I'm gonna tell you right now, be comfortable with taking off potential tread life. That's just all I'm gonna say with that. So let me give you a little backstory. A little while back, about a month or two ago, probably three or four months now, now about two months ago really, I got these wheels and tires put on the truck. And these are 22 fives that were milled down to 22. And then I got adapters. I have the Centromatic ring balancers. They also got tried to, we tried to uh, weight balance them. They did balance out both times. Um, went ahead and put the little ringlets that go around the hubs or the, uh, the lug nuts to make sure all the wheels are centered up to the actual lugs themselves. So I've done all of my homework and all my research into this that I can to make this system work. And I still, eh, get ready. I still cannot get this thing to actually ride smooth on the road. Um, if you've been following the channel for a little bit, you understand, see the previous videos, they've all been about this wheel and tire setup either not working or not working and also not working. So it's frustrating to say the least. Um, however, finally on to something, and this is the only thing I can think of that seems to be the case. So what I'm doing before we get into that, I think there's, a few potential reasons basically it comes down to an out of round tires uh, so my assumption i won't be able to prove this until i get another set of tires which is not going to happen for a while i don't make big buku youtube money so we're going to run these out regardless but these are a crosswind uh, mud terrain made by a company called linglong so that should tell you what you need to know right there pretty budget tire about 200 bucks a pop which unfortunately is not very budget but still compared to some Toyos or something, it's about $200 cheaper per tire. And directional tread looks awesome, but they're out of round. Uh, I don't know, and here's where I'm getting concerned. I don't know exactly what's causing this issue. Um, I've checked the bead seat all the way around here, and it is just about as perfect as you can get. There's no weird variance. So I don't think the tire's mounted badly. I did replace the tire already, no change, same issue, different tire. Um, I have checked what else like I said the uh, the balancers or not the balancers the adapters should be good you can see the wheels are lined up perfectly that's because I have those rings in there and I can't remember what they're called they're like something balancing I don't know I'll have to look up the part number I'll put it in the video real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about with a picture of them but yeah so I cut mine down basically and there's three on each side that are keeping everything you know good to go and uh, basically what it comes down to is See the tire's not touching, and see how it's hitting that blade? And now it's not touching the blade. Actually, maybe it is touching. This one's not too bad. Let me back it up just a little hair. But basically what's happening is, depending on which tire you're at, it touches, doesn't touch, touches doesn't touch this tire is actually probably the best of the lot that one was really bad i already did that yesterday i did the fronts they were pretty bad i gotta do the other side so this one might be okay as it is um, might just move this whole setup over but that brings me to what this whole contraption is this is my homemade uh tire trimmer basically homemade tire shaver tire shaving is a thing back in the day um, they used to have tires that were naturally out of round. They just didn't know how to manufacture. I'm talking like 60s back in the day, not like modern tires. And basically what they would do, and this is a practice all the way up. To the most recent forum I saw on it was 2010. Um, spin the tire around, and or spin the wheel around, everything mounted, and it would just take off the very edge that's protruding. Whatever edge is protruding down to the lowest point, so you have a perfectly centric round tire. And because these are not like that, this is the last resort I can think of after everything else I've tried. I've tried remounting, tried basically literally everything under the sun besides getting new tires so yeah that's where i'm at but it is working so sorry a little winded explanation of what that is um but that's what i'm doing and it's just as the last resort i don't have any other options it is not within the budget to go ahead and purchase 1200 dollars worth of tires right now or if it was a name brand probably close to two grand worth in tires right now which again not really in the budget i have gt500 stuff to deal with this is supposed to be just a, like a fun, you know, tire wheel and tire mod that's turning into a real headache. So if I can't get this to ride smooth, we're going back to the stock tires. I will sell these things and we'll be done with it. But I think this is the right track and uh, we'll see what happens. But 
This isn't a how-to video. I'm not really, I'm just showing you my ghetto-ish setup. It's been working though, and it takes a lot of eyeballing. You can easily destroy a set of tires if you're not paying attention. Um, pretty much what I do is, uh, I got this little X, Y axis table off of Amazon. It's like 30 bucks. Got a piece of metal and everything. Like it's solid, it's not going anywhere. It's mounted down. Um, and then I have a bunch of weight on here. Basically I line this piece up as best as I can. I'll run this back and forth several times to make sure that it's evenly all the way across the wheel and tire and then weight it down and it's been working. So this one, like I said, I think is actually pretty solid. It doesn't seem to be having any rubbing issues. I might go over it lightly just to make sure it's perfect, but it's pretty dang good. The other side, I think is the last one I really need to work on. So I'm gonna go and do a quick little shoot of what it looks like when I'm doing this. It is a mess. There are different blades you can get. I did. I just used this one because of what I had on hand. You can get like a, almost like a chainsaw blade that somebody else made for a tire shaver and it seems to work way better. Um, it's, it's still on a grinder, but it's just the same deal. So is what it is, but it seems to do the trick. You can adjust, you know, in and out precise enough and then you can, you know, side to side. But that's kind of what I've been working on, so. Again, controversial. You guys may go wild in the comics saying I'm retarded. Perfectly fine. I don't care. It's what it, it works, and that's all that really matters at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and get at it. Also, obviously, wear a mask. This creates a bunch of tire smoke, so I have a pain respirator I'm wearing while doing this. All right, so I went ahead and skipped on that one tire because that was actually just about as perfect as it can get, which is awesome. At least one of the six is good. Uh, this one over here, not so much. So. So currently it's not touching. That's the high point. So I'm trying to find its ultimate low point. It's probably around there. So you can see that there's definitely a high point in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through this process for both of these and uh, really the last ones. I didn't don't know how good I got the front ones, if they're perfect, perfect or not. This board just to catch the rubber because uh, the pain of the button flies all over the driveway. But like I said, this is completely the last resort. I would get this done professionally, but literally nobody around here does it. So that's kind of where I'm at. And uh, I figure if I have the time, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. We'll see how this works out. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out these two and Hopefully we'll be almost done with this process. So that's pretty much the process. Um, as you can see, it didn't take off much on one side, took off a little bit much over on this other side. And this is actually the best tire so far that I've done, minus the other side, that was good. So the fronts were almost a full on, pretty close to almost an eighth of an inch out. And uh, this one was actually really good. So this is the last one I have to do. And I might revisit the fronts just because I don't know if I got it perfectly round enough. Um, I want to mean that I mean I got the high point but I don't know if I went low enough just because uh, I wasn't really sure how, what I was doing so I don't want to take off too much but I did leave a little bit about half the tire without actually any contact and the other half started to you know shave off some but it was a lot more tread on the other side uh, a couple of things to keep in mind when you're doing stuff like this um, obviously ear pro is helpful uh, blades are helpful. So I actually doubled up my blades right here. This way there's less flex because I was noticing that it was flexing a lot. So what happened is if it caught the tire too hard, it would flex up and dive into the tire, which is obviously not ideal. So uh, yeah, one more to go. And like I said, guys, this is the absolute last resort. Um, I don't know for sure if the wheel itself is at fault or not. There's a lot of factors that can go into this. I trust the guy that did the milling, so I don't think that was a problem, but it's possible that uh, they were milled out of round when they were stuck on their adapter or whatever you used to spin it around. 
So that could be a factor, but without having the sidewall bulging, like in terms of where the mounting rim is, or the mounting seat, without seeing a visible gap difference. Right in here, I have a hard time believing that it was milled poorly. It could be an adapter issue, it could be a lug nut issue. There's a lot of, a lot of things at play with this type of setup. But um, once again, this is the most cost-effective way for me to fix this. And well, I mean, you're seeing it, so. This one's a little bit worse. I'm gonna try and hold this still so you can see. So not touching there. Touching pretty heavily there. Not touching. So the other thing I forgot to take into account that I think might also be a problem. So there are a good number of people that apparently have had these tires without issues. And I'm wondering if part of it happens to do with, um, a lot of times dually wheels are very narrow. These are eight and a half inch or 8.25 inches wide and it's 12.5 inch wide tire. So obviously a big difference. Um, a lot of doulies can get away with that because they have such a huge uh, amount of sidewall. These obviously do not have a ton of sidewall. So I think the other issue that could be causing this is when the tire is wrapped around and pulled tighter, um, it might protrude the center section. And if it's not a very well-made tire, it could highlight defects that otherwise wouldn't be there. So that's my thought.
So that's about that. Other truck updates right before we head out of here and I close out this video. We're doing, um, order some injectors. Those will be coming in this weekend. Probably going to do that. That'll be the next video. And I'll go into why and everything later. Other than that, that's really about it. So thanks for watching. It's kind of a slow video and slow past couple of videos, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, if you stuck around this long, I'll give you a little tidbit on the GT500. Uh, the cams came in, everything came in except for the timing kit. It's out until November 3rd, or sorry, third week of November. So basically Thanksgiving is when that'll be showing up. So it'll be a while before that gets installed, but that's the big thing I want to push for next. So like I was saying, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate your patience with the channel and everything. If you have any uh, suggestions or stuff you want to see on the truck or car, leave it down in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.